what's up guys it's fan nation back here with another youtube video in today's video we're gonna be trying out a 130 god roll swan we're gonna be trying it in a power level 70 mission and it's just gonna be against basic enemies and we'll be rating it out of 10. basically for the first one i'm gonna rate it out of five how effective it is against killing zombies then for the next five points i will be rating how fun it is out of five so yeah, fun, depending on how fun it is, will really just come down to how unique it is. And yeah, that's about it. Here are the rules for it, right here. It's a crit setup, so it's pretty interesting. But yeah, let's just really try it out. It's really melting these people, but then again, this is a power level 70 mission. Maybe next uh, video I will try out in a higher power level mission. But the goal is to only use this gun, not use any of my abilities. And these zombies have that healing death burst effect, which can get pretty aggravating on these big guys. But because of this crit chance, I am melting these big guys. It's kind of nuts, actually. <coughs> Like, yeah, I'm, it takes me, what, three or four seconds to kill one of these big guys? Wow, they just now chain reacted themselves. That's their fault. They're going extinct. They're going to ruin their whole tribe. I'll catch you guys at the next encampment. Alright, guys, we are at the third encampment. Just melt these people. Yeah. This is, it's honestly just nuts. This definitely gets a 4 out of 5 on its effectiveness of killing zombies. Even with, even as part of 70 mission, these guys still have healing death burst, and I am just destroying them. This shouldn't be a thing. It really shouldn't. This gun is overpowered. I kind of like how it sounds too. It sounds semi silent. The gun looks cool in and of itself. Like, just look at me aim down. Wait, let me get out of this. Okay, now look at me aim down sights and tell me that that gun does not look cool. Alright, guys, we'll catch you at the next encampment. Alright, guys, we are at the fourth encampment. Oh my gosh, this thing just melts. It really does it's just simply melt. And it has a 50 bullet clip. Let me check. Yeah, 50 bullet clip. With this kind of damage, this thing is nuts. Definitely one of the very few guns in this game. That there's really no point in using because of how good they are. Like, there's no challenge. You know you're gonna completely destroy everything. I should not be killing a mist monster that fast. No matter how overpowered I am. Okay, last husk is over here. My concern for these kinds of missions, though, is primarily the fact that, you know... Oh, did I just now cancel the encampment? Oh, I did. Alright, well, I'll catch you guys at the fifth encampment. Alright, guys, we are at the fifth encampment. And my favorite part about testing these guns on the encampments is that the encampments get progressively harder. So you can figure out how many zombies the gun caps at before it kind of gets not very good, to put it nicely. And your boy got stuck right there. You see, but it's stuff like that, that when it happens with a gun, it makes you think this gun is trash. But that's just one of the glitches in the game that's due to the zombies AI. That makes you get stuck like that. It wasn't uh, the gun's fault of the gun being bad or something. Definitely got to take out these smaller zombies first. The reason why I'm rating this a 4 out of 5, out of 5, for the zombie, like, 
kill effectiveness is that this thing blows for ammo. And it's not that it's inaccurate, I guess I could be cap firing and landing more shots. But I don't want to do that, and yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this thing just bloody melts. Like, watch me just take on this whole core. People gotta keep on throwing their propane tanks. Even with death first, even with everything they have, these zombies have, just getting torn through. Alright, I'll see you guys at the 6th encampment. Alright guys, we are at the 6th encampment. Right, so. Now we're going to write how fun the gun is. So the first part for writing how fun the gun is, is I like to say that the gun sounds very nice. Right? It doesn't sound like super annoying or something. So that's, uh good part about it you know yeah it sounds nice but I don't really think it's a very fun gun like it's not very unique it's more of just like an AR the only thing I'd say that is unique about it is really just how it looks you could compare it to just a hacksaw really so it's not very unique I'd have to give it a two out of three on how good it is so overall the gun gets a well no it'd be two out of five what am i saying right so overall the gun gets a six out of ten for how good the gun is it's just not very fun or unique i mean it sounds cool that's what really brings it up to a three you know and the fact that i don't know I just feel, I feel powerful when I'm using it. That's another good factor. So I feel like I've shown enough gameplay for the 6th encampment. So I'm going to meet you guys at the menu screen where I will really just give my thoughts on the gun. Alright guys, here are my final thoughts on this one. As you can see, you know, it was Sunbeam, but it really did go for that critical build. And I feel like... The consistency of the gun was good because it was brung up to a 51% crit chance. So that was pretty nice. And it did shred, but I just feel like the bullet efficiency wasn't good. Overall, 6 out of 10 doesn't really meet my personal standards. It's not the funnest gun to use. It's not very unique. But overall, 6 out of 10 would use again. Alright guys, this has been the Panda Nation, and I'm out. Peace.